All right, hello Ace family. Uh, today we're gonna talk about our Kulk section here. And we're gonna do this just a little bit differently than, than we usually do. Um, Cause I try, to, I try to tell you as much as I possibly can, but um, I don't, I'm not gonna say that I know 100% of everything about Kulk. Um, and uh, two, Ace did a really good job with some of the packaging and labeling and the stickers, the POP that we have. So I'm gonna ask you to learn a little bit um, yourself just to look at this section, just get familiar with all the signage that we have available to be helpful for the customers and to be helpful uh, for you. Um, one of the funnest things about being here at Ace, you know, besides taking care of customers, is actually getting to learn something every single day. And if I could just have you watch a video and have you know it all, I mean, that would be fun. Gotta, gotta learn a little bit, right? So um, with the Kulk section, um, it's a really important category for us. Every day, a customer is gonna come in and need something from this section. So um, it's, it's uh it's critical to just about uh well a lot of home repairs and a lot of uh, a lot of little projects so uh the biggest deal the biggest question that i ask is you know someone a customer comes into the door and they go hey i'm after some caulk and go okay no problem my very first question to them is going to be are you looking for a bed and bath caulk or are you looking for like a window and door caulk? And I usually have that conversation with them as we're on the way to the caulk section. And that is because um, that's going to tell me where to narrow down the section a little bit. So um, the bathroom caulk is going to be uh, better formulated to be mold resistant, handle that higher humidity environment. Whereas the window and door caulk is going to be uh, a little bit more flexible, a little bit hardier to the elements, even though it still might be a little bit moist outside. It's just just kind of geared towards different stuff. If it's if it's neither of those, there's I mean there's going to be some painters caulk that's super common uh, too for any paint project, just to fill all those little cracks and baseboards and nail holes and whatnot. Um, and there's some other specialty products that I will point out to you, but generally um, a customer might have a, a cost in mind that they're that they're looking at and we just kind of need to uh, need to point point that out on kind of her help narrow down that section but generally if they're not looking for a bathroom project we're probably going to be on the window and door portion of it so uh, with the sections here on, on the right foot we generally have the bed and bath on the left foot, or le the left section here, we've got the window and door. Um, I'm gonna jump around a little bit, so uh, as we go down, just so we can work and make it easy here. So um, we've got a whole bunch of painters caulk uh, with different properties on it, different dry times. Uh, some of those are gonna be critical, and uh, we call it painters caulk specifically because it's gonna be less expensive per tube than using something else, but also that it is paintable. That's a very common feature. A lot of folks, and, and Ace did a great job with the signage, are gonna want to know cure times and if it's paintable versus non-paintable. Those are probably the two most uh, common questions with it. Uh, cleanup is critical too and how well it adheres, but um, but like I said, the dry time is something we uh, get asked about a lot. And then for exterior applications, uh, temperature can make a difference too. Uh, we're in Idaho, it gets pretty cold here. There are certain products where we have to watch that temperature rating uh, very carefully. Uh, it, it's a big difference between 50 degrees outside versus, versus zero. But again, these are more interior products. So, uh, so we've got our painter's caulk and this is one of those things I'm gonna have you learn. Uh, generally on the bottom, that's gonna be the cheapest products, and then as we go up, they're going to be more expensive. So just keep that in mind as you're talking to the customer and, uh, and helping them. And the two most common colors across the whole spectrum of these products is going to be white and clear. Those, uh, even if it's gonna be paintable, those are the two most common colors by far. We get into some other colors, the tans and grays and creams and anyway, all that stuff. But uh, 
but generally uh, the most popular is definitely going to be white and clear. So we're going to have white and clear, got um, some fast drying, and then uh, a, kind of a premium uh, product. Uh, another thing we do, we just barely uh, organized this section, got it all set up, and we do have some of the older products that are that are like it, where the label might have changed, just so we can cycle through it. So as soon as we do cycle through some of those products, um, our labels are going to match our signage. So we've got our painter's caulk here down on the bottom. Uh, on this corner here, we actually have a a fire stopper flame rated uh, sometimes that's required for uh, for code and um, the inspectors um, it actually says on the, uh, the POP the signage chair that it's red and um, inspectors actually look for that red to know that it's actually a fire fire rated deal don't uh, we we actually sold some of this immediately uh, when we got the section set up um, I don't know how much of it we're gonna we're gonna run through, but it's awesome to know we have them. Since we've sold some, obviously there's been a need for us. Uh, we've got a few different uh, concrete crack fillers um, on the right side of this uh, planogram, and we've done uh, quite a few projects helping customers fill the cracks in their cement. And uh, the biggest thing with those projects is. Um, it can get expensive quickly, uh, especially if the cracks are deep. So what I what I love when I'm having a conversation on the concrete filler, and there's some other uses too, but generally you're trying to fill some hairline cracks. But I have had customers try to fill the actual saw cuts going through the concrete, and sometimes those saw cuts can be really deep. So what I'll do is is just ask them how deep that is. Sometimes they go, ah, oh, it's not too deep, then the conversation ends there, but we're here to be helpful, and if they do have those deep saw cuts, uh, what I'll do is, is take them over to the uh, weather stripping, weather seal, and we have a whole bunch of backer rod in that section of a whole bunch of different diameters and if you don't know what backer rod is it's just a, a, a foam uh, uh, strip it's a cylinder foam roll and it can be shoved in those cracks and that helps save the customer a lot of material so instead of dumping you know nine ten eleven dollars worth of caulk into a crack to try to fill it you can get it so instead of filling all of it with that uh, with that uh, concrete filler, you can actually shove that filler in there and then you're just filling a little bit on top where it actually needs to be. So kind of help of a helpful tip that can uh, save some money. So that's a good stopping point. Cool. We're good. We're done helping customers now. Okay, awesome. So, um, so that really finishes up kind of the concrete and whatnot. Uh, when we go over here, um, as a reminder, we kind of start on the bottom and go up, and that's, uh, that's going to approximate price point uh, for quality on there. So we're going to have some different colors and whatnot, but generally with the, uh, like with the bath silicone, we're kind of going to be a, a, uh, a good down here, um, kind of a, a better with these, and then kind of a best. So, so we're kind of... I said kind of a good and then a better and then a best and sometimes you can get by with a uh, you know a, a less expensive one but um, most of the time a customer kind of knows what they want to spend on if you have a contractor he's going to know the quality of it um, if you have a, uh, a, a homeowner um, that's part of uh, you just kind of looking and doing the research and uh, utilizing the signage do not be afraid to learn um, I uh, or, or look stuff up in front of the customers just a reminder that I don't know is totally an acceptable answer because at that point go man I'm not sure let me take 20 seconds and, and read a label real fast and well you get really good at reading labels but you also find information uh pretty darn quickly you get used to that and customers appreciate that that's that's just part of us going the extra mile and that's anyway that's great so again kind of a good better and a best sort of deal all right awesome so now we're on the other side here the window and door side um it's 
laid out fairly fairly similar to the uh, uh, bed and bath or the bath and shower bath and tub uh, where we kind of have the the inexpensive stuff near the bottom all these products right here were kind of a good and then we go with a better and then we have the best as we go over here um, fairly easy to keep straight you can kind of look at pricing and, and kind of have an idea on that um, uh, again we've we've kind of got some additional colors with the with the good one just starting out uh, so if a customer is looking for a specific color we know that it's going to be right here in this uh, Dynaflex uh, 230 product um, and then uh, there's not as many specialty products on this side but there are two that I want to point out. So this big stretch and this Lexel stuff are absolutely amazing products. Um, that's not face the right way, goodness. Okay, so the Lexel and the big stretch are both made by a company called uh, Sashco. And Sashco, all of their products are absolutely incredible. Um, they just they work they work really well um, and just to give you an idea um, if if uh, it's a really difficult situation um, Lexel is usually the product that we need to recommend um, and that comes down to I had a customer last week we were pouring rain he was getting water in his basement because the gutters had some holes in it and um, just weren't sealed up right well, um, Lexel will work when everything's wet so that we can go ahead and get that sealed up so that we can fix the water situation and it did seal it, seal it right up for them and it was really good. So uh, it does stick to wet surfaces. It works in a whole range of temperatures down to zero degrees. Yes, just like the POP says, down to zero degrees. And um, it's just a, it's a phenomenal product. It is clear. Um, and it actually is paintable as well. So anyway, just a good general use sealant, silicone type product that, that's gonna work. Uh, this big stretch is uh, mainly for cracks. So if there's cracks in some brick or, uh, I don't wanna say a foundation, but, but brick or concrete or something, you think of like walls and uh, you might see like uh, uh, the grout lines pulling apart that uh, that's exactly what the big stretch is designed for that it pulls apart and it stretches like crazy but it usually will not uh, I've never seen a crack at all and uh, you do see other products that tend to crack so uh, huge kudos to uh, to that company Sasco everything they have is, is super high quality had great luck with uh, with a lot of their products um, and a lot of them are in the warehouse too so anyway uh, we're kind of done with the Colk tubes on the bottom here now we're gonna orient us up a little bit so that we can talk about uh, really similar products just in the smaller squeeze tubes so if the customer doesn't have a Colt gun or if they're just doing a little project or they want to reseal it easily um, that would be good for the little product we tried to keep the window and door um, products on this side and then the bed and bath products on this side just so there was a clear line and it was easy for um, us and the customer uh, when we're working with them uh, I mentioned sealing. Uh, the other alternative is we definitely do have Colt savers right here and right here, depending on uh, where you want to go, just just to help keep the uh, fluid good inside the Colt tubes. So if they're worried about saving it, we certainly do have some products to help make sure that they save that for the next time they need to use the product. Um, let's see the next thing we can talk about is uh, uh, spray foam we've got one or two bottles of spray foam and again we're working through selling some of this we're gonna have less but um, the knowledge no matter what is still good so with spray foam there's gonna be three of the very main types and I think it's the most obvious on the gray stuff so I'm gonna use that we've got a regular 
gaps and cracks and that's going to expand to about one inch so uh, anytime you're filling about a one inch gap it's going to be good uh, then we go with the black the black is a big gap it's going to expand up to three inches so that's going to fill a lot bigger hole it's going to be a lot more massive and then we get into window and door now the problem with the black and the red the gap and big gap is that if you were to put them next to a window next to a door they have a potential to be so strong they'll bow those out and if it happens badly enough you could actually break your window and so it's a lot easier in construction when everything's square so when you're filling an air gap you feel some air coming coming through the window or, or around the window I guess I should say or you are filling next to a door you definitely want to use something a little more gentle anytime you're up against something where if it expands too much you could be in trouble uh, that's what this stuff is for now um, those are kind of the main types they're definitely our biggest sellers uh, we have the the red stuff that goes in in the gun here that mostly professional contractors will have this gun we've got the red stuff and we've got uh, the cleaner that goes with the gun because it does need to be cleaned it would not be good to have an expensive gun that's all uh, gummed up from uh, from old product getting dry in there um, for there's some other specialty products for, for spray foam too so we've got this mouse shield here that mice do not like it they won't chew chew through it and a lot of people uh, when you're selling cracks around your foundation they go man that would be good not to have mice so they like to have that so that's a great option to have uh, there's a pond in stone uh, help to it helps to seal some water it can help to seal some water but it can kind of work as an adhesive too um, we have another one that's pest block so that's going to be resistant to um, insects mostly uh, crawling into that foam and making a nice cozy home. Uh, again, another brand of the mouse shield, the Tomcat has a rodent block that, uh, again, mice don't like. And then uh, we've got this tight bond, uh, or Loctite tight foam uh, product that uh, it's going to be white, where most of these others are a yellow foam. And then um, this GE product, same thing as the uh, great stuff. And in fact, uh, we're switching back to the great stuff. Uh, people are just really used to the can and that brand. So as soon as we sell through these, we will have the great stuff in the smaller cans. But same product, just, just a little bit different uh, um, uh, size. Anyway, uh, so come over here let's see if we can do this without uh, wanting to talk about uh, the guns real fast and generally you can kind of go by style everybody uh, who's used Colt guns might have an opinion and um, really you get customers that are gonna be looking for a cheap gun which anyway lowest price point under ten dollars nice and cheap that's what it's built for there's some that are just a hair more comfortable, a couple dollars more. And then um, we have some of these that I really want to talk about because um, when you're talking about paying around 20 bucks for a Colt gun, um, there should be a reason why. So the first one I wanted to talk about is, is this one. This is a really cool gun, especially if you need it to fit inside of a toolbox or something. It's much easier to cram into. Uh, it will load any standard Colt tube in there and how it works is it cuts it as you as you ratchet it as you squeeze it so there will be no not really any saving the tube uh, not that there's a reason to do that but it's nice and compact and easy to store if, if someone wants that so that's a nice feature if you're looking for somewhere to put it this other one um, I recommend it to a lot of people. It is a gun that um, it doesn't drip. It's got a very nice, smooth action with it. Uh, and this company, it's just um, what makes a Colt gun nice is a lot of times you'll be squeezing and then you stop 
and set it down on the floor just move some dirt or something or, or get distracted you come back to it 10 seconds later and there's a puddle of caulk on the ground and now you have to clean that up and anyway it's just a pain it kind of keeps bleeding out this gun does not bleed out the product out of the tip as soon as you're done squeezing it uh it just makes sure that it's it's not going to be leaking out so uh in addition to that it's got a nice uh consistent bead as you're going along and actually caulking with it so there's there's a few reasons i really like it if someone's looking for a good one to have around the house definitely would recommend that but um anyway maybe uh you'll be able to look at it and have a different opinion which is uh which is all good but just trying to give you a baseline so we do have a, a grout renew here and then uh the last thing i wanted to cover with this is we do have a lot of back stock up top but when we're doing freight, when we're putting stuff away, please be aware that we actually, with this new planogram, we actually have some 12 packs that are ready to go. In the past, we have had 12 packs, but they were, um, they were sold by the individuals. We open the box, we scan, scan it, you know, there's gonna be 12 in a box, change the quantity in the computer and so on. Uh, we've got these just to make it a little bit more convenient for the customer if someone wants 12 of any of these by golly we'll we'll find any box we can just to make it more convenient for them but um on the very common ones um some alex plus some paint projects uh they're kind of a less expensive uh, uh caulk uh that can be used for filling and um just pay attention to that when we're actually doing freight putting those away because um, they don't need to be open. We've already um, had that once, and uh, we just need to go through and be aware. But uh, one more thing to just uh, uh, have for the customer to be helpful, to be beneficial, is uh, anyway, have a 12, pla 12 pack ready to go. So hopefully that'll be good and uh, help, help us help folks. So as always, let me know, let us know if you have any questions, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.